Here's a video demonstrating how Device Authority's Keyscaler platform with Benafi Code Signing Services provides code signing and secure delivery updates for IoT devices. The IoT challenge for organizations is that they need a method to trust and verify IoT device updates because any unverified updates are easy entry point for attackers and they can be tampered with in transit. Another challenge is that existing code signing solutions are not integrated with IoT workflows and code delivery processes are not integrated with code signing workflows. Also, for every use case, a new solution needs to be built. This requires bespoke development work. The business need here is to protect the IoT device by updating its software, mitigating any vulnerabilities and providing bug fixes and feature enhancements securely. There is a need to reassure customers proving that the software they download is safe and provide manufacturers the ability to securely update their IoT devices with trustworthy, untampered and unmalicious software. The solution consists of PKI infrastructure to digitally sign code and verify their origin. By integrating Device Authority's Keyscaler with Venify's Code Sign Protect solution, we also provide a secure update delivery mechanism with further integration with Azure Blob Storage. Let's take a look at a flow of how this will work. The data or code owner uploads their unsigned data to the Keyscaler platform, which gets stored in the platform database. Provided that the code signing policies are all configured in Keyscaler, a hash of the data is sent to Venify to get signed. Venify signs the code signing request and sends it back to Keyscaler. The signed hash is attached to the data and is then automatically uploaded to Azure Blob Storage by Keyscaler. This completes the data signing process. Let's take a look at the secure delivery part of the solution. Next time the device checks into Keyscaler platform, it will automatically authenticate and check to see if there's any new assets. Keyscaler platform will have a new data or asset ready to be dispatched to all devices, which require the new data. It will send this in the form of a URL to the device. Once the device receives the URL, it will automatically execute on it and fetch the new Venify signed code from the Azure Blob storage to be deployed on the device. This completes the secure software delivery part of the solution. In this demo, we will show the one-time setup of Keyscaler and then uploading of the unsigned data to it, followed by the data then getting signed by Venify. Then we will show how this signed data is uploaded to Azure Blob and then downloaded and executed by the IoT device when it checks into Keyscaler. And now for the live demo. First, we log into the Keyscaler platform. And from the dashboard, we can navigate to the Manage Service Connectors, as shown here. Here we can see we've got two EPIC connectors pre-configured. The first one is a connector to the Azure Blob Storage. We can see here a few connection settings. The second one is an EPIC connector to Venify's CodeSign Protect server. Again, a few settings are pre-configured. Next on Keyscaler, we can navigate to the code signing policies configuration. Here, we have already pre-configured a policy called code signing test 001. Let's take a look in detail. This policy is configured with the two connectors we previously set up. Here, we can also configure a script that will be applied to the device, which tells it what to do with the updated file. Here, we are verifying the file with jar signer and then copying the file to a specific folder. We have assigned this policy to the device group called Code Sign Group, of which our IoT device is also a member. That completes the Keyscaler one-time setup. Before we upload the unsigned data, let's take a look at the Venify code signing portal. Here we can see that the total signing operations is currently 89. We'll come back to this later. Next, we can use a REST API client like Insomnia to log into Keyscaler and upload the unsigned data file. First, we send a login API request. This will return a Java web token from Keyscaler. We take a copy of this JWT and use it to upload the unsigned code. In this case, a JAR file called 
hello-world.jar. Here we paste the JWT as the bearer and send the API request. This effectively uploads the jar file to Keyscaler, which automatically sends it to Venify to get it signed using the EPIC connector. Let's take a look back at the Venify dashboard again. Refreshing the screen, we can see that the display shows the total number of signing operations has now incremented from 89 to 90. Once the code is signed, Keyscaler uses the Azure connector to upload the signed code file to Azure Blob Storage, which is defined in the policies. Navigating to the correct Blob Storage account and container, we can observe the file stored in the blob as a downloadable file. By selecting the file, we can see more details about it. Back on the Keyscaler system, we can also track the data signing activity. Viewing the policy, we can view all the jobs. For this particular job, we can see the subtasks and their statuses. For example, created, signing, signed, uploading, and uploaded as different statuses. On the Venify system, we can also check the Venify server log events. As you can see, the log shows that there was a successful code signing from a request originating from our Keyscaler system. On the IoT device, we can monitor the logs as it authenticates to Keyscaler and downloads the code signing asset, as highlighted here. What is also being shown here is the device script being executed to run a data signing verify using the jar sign utility. We can also observe the same on the Keyscaler logs for the IoT device. Taking a look at this, we can see here that the logs from the IoT device show that the JAR file was signed and verified successfully. And finally, on the IoT device, we can also manually verify the code signing of the Hello World JAR file from the stored location that was defined in the code signing policy. Here again, we can see that the JAR file has been verified successfully. Let's do a recap on what we've seen in the demo. In this demo, we have demonstrated how unsigned data can be easily be uploaded to the Keyscaler platform, which is integrated with Venify's code signing platform to perform code signing services. And with integration with Azure Blob, the signed data files can be securely stored and until they are securely fetched from an IoT device that is configured to receive it. Here are the key benefits of Keyscaler's integration with Venify's code signing services. The solution helps to build trust and confidence with content and code integrity by being tamper free. It provides the identity of the original software publishers and the software download counts increases as it's officially recognized as signed code. And it generally improves publisher reputation and creates a trustworthy image of the software distributor as well. Thank you for your time today. If you would like more information, please do get in touch.